what are the qualities that you should look for when you marry a Filipina? Uh, okay. Ayoko na sana ng sumawsaw dito. I don't wanna um, comment about this sana. But, uh, you know, it's, it's getting way out of hand na eh. And um, as a YouTuber, as a content creator, I think I have uh, the responsibility to at least help dwindle it down or to, to put a stop into this uh, kind of uh, um, issue. I wasn't supposed to, to make a comment about this. What are the qualities that you should look for when you marry a Filipina? Okay, my assessment to it after I uh, watched the video. Um, yes, um, Yuri, may kasalan talaga siya. Kung bakit siya nababash ngayon, and why she is now in trouble, with uh, you know a lot of Filipinos, siguro mga uh, 80 percent of Filipinos are now mad at her, especially Filipinas and especially um, you know those people who you know she maligned by calling uneducated, rough, squatters, para mga ganon. Um, I, I don't believe that she she doesn't know it na, and and she doesn't see this coming because you know she's on YouTube. And uh, being on YouTube, what we are actually looking for is for um, our video to go viral. And uh, there you have it. You got it. Uh, so, congratulations. But anyway, I know um, this has been um, bothering you because there are a lot of people who are bashing you. And a lot of Filipinos, particularly Filipinas, who are married to different races or to like Americans, British, or, or um, basta different race who are now really mad at you because of what you have said about the Filipinos and you are actually they said that you are actually misrepresenting the Filipinas based from what I've uh, watched um, Yuri Bruce was in the Philippines and she overheard a group of Filipinas who are in a relationship with Ibang Lahi din. And uh, I don't know if she overheard it or if she was eavesdropping because she intentionally um, filmed them. Although, they're kind of hard. The reason why I have that as a background is because those are the kind of Filipinas that you shouldn't marry. You can you cannot actually see their faces, but um, ranting about other people is not really good, particularly if you are going to malign them. And um, by the way, you delivered all the the things that you have said, like squatters, uneducated, and as if you are trying to. Um, tell everybody that you are above them now you know why you're getting bashed it was just like being so arrogant masyadong arrogante ate and uh, it's not really good because you are also in that situation and knowing that you are married to an american or um people might also think about uh, the same thing about you because back in the philippines um, when you see a Filipina with an American guy or a foreigner, even if they don't say anything, even if just merely a look, you can actually sense that they are judging you. But you don't deserve all this bashing. That's the only thing I can say. Uh, a lot of uh, opinions has been uh, said. Pero what's funny about this is that most of the people who are, you know, giving comments, mali mali rin ng English, holier than that. Everything has been said and done. With the apology video of Yuri, I think that's that's enough na for us to Let's move on. Um, siguro she already have learned her lesson because once it's 
it is already out in the internet it's it stays there forever and we all know that internet or cyber world is actually a vicious place to be in and you don't want to be um, you don't want to do stupid things especially when you are into this kind of uh, business because uh, it stays there forever so you better be careful next time you girl because uh, <laughs> you already learned your lesson the hard way pa girl one point something million Yaging sensation ka ngayon kahit na 80% of those pe people you know hated you but well girl you're famous so I can't say anything anymore because I've watched the you know the, the videos yung yung you know when you got in trouble and when you apologized I know how hard it is because um, you know I've experienced that too um, I got bullied I got bashed and uh, you know most of them akala mo talagang napaka lilinis na tao I know how it feels <laughs> just uh, move on with your life this too shall pass lilipas din yan and uh, just remember um, be very careful the next time uh, get out for a while give yourself a break Take you like yourself and uh, try to figure out if this is really what you want and uh, if you really want to be a content creator or a youtuber then and by the time that you you are back or you come back then you know you know what to do and what not to do because again girl this world is vicious unforgiving um, one wrong move oh boy you're gonna get lashed you're gonna get the uh, whipped you're gonna get the uh, kick you're gonna get punched you're gonna get slapped I know it's hard. Sabi mo nga sa apology video mo, hindi ka makatulog. Um, it's been bugging you. It's been bothering you. But girl, this too shall pass. But be very careful the next time you're going to open your mouth. And it's not an excuse that you were upset during that time because you had the chance when you were editing the video. If you think that you have said too much, you should have not included in your video. Diba? Kasi you know that it's gonna put you in trouble. Hindi mo ba naisip yun? Inag-i-edit ka na nga. It's about time naman na if, to think if you really have to publish it or you put it online. Internet is very unforgiving. A lot of people are just memas. Yung mga may masabi lang, makasawsaw lang sa issue. Even if they don't uh, even finish the video, they will say things. They will bash you. But, but I am not saying that those people or all of those people are idiots because most of them were right when they bashed you because they got offended. Me too, I got offended. Sometimes we deserve things because of our action. But you did the right thing. You apologize ka, And a lot of people actually um, forgiven you. Because um, with me, um, when someone asks for forgiveness and sincerely apologized, then, you know, that person deserves to be forgiven. Uh, to all the people who thinks that she is not sincere pagating dun sa apology niya, well, it's not our problem anymore. Kung hindi siya sincere sa apology niya, it's her problem. She'll live to it. So, Siguro naman, um, she already learned her lesson. And to all the Filipinos who think that she is not sincere, I've watched the apology video and she is not fluent in Tagalog because she is Bisaya. She is not acting like she doesn't know Tagalog because she speaks English. Because from her English itself, her English was not really perfect. The grammar was... It needs to be polished. So... There you go. She's Visaya. She doesn't know Tagalog. And uh, knowing Filipinos, we we know Tagalog. And th that is the the medium of uh, conversations of Philippines. And uh, if she doesn't sound like, you know, she's not sincere because she doesn't speak the, the Tagalog uh, dialect well, well, try to understand that. And uh, I think she is careful na rin to speak the English language because a lot of people took it like... Uh, She's being arrogant. Um, so, Yuri, if you are really 
and sincerely apologetic about your action, then just speak it the way you want it to, to speak it. Like if you're Visayas, then say it in Visayas. You don't have to pretend that you don't know how to, to speak Tagalog if you can't speak Tagalog. But uh, a lot of people will try to understand that. And uh, siguro, um, try to speak Tagalog in, uh, in a way that you can. Um, it's just my advice. Because uh, if you try to, to say it in English again, um, a lot of them will bash you again. Because we know that most Filipinos are grammar Nazis. And uh, it is just the Filipino thing. Um, here in the U.S., you know that uh, not all not not every Americans care about how you speak the, their language because they will still understand you. So, magtagalog ka kung kaya magtagalog. Um, siguro tanggalin mo lang pa accent accent mo. Stop being arrogant. And uh, yun, um, people will find you sincere naman sa apology mo, and they will soon forgive you. And uh, when you are trying to um, speak out your apology. Don't justify na lang your fault kasi from your um, apology video, you were saying sorry pero you are trying to justify pa rin eh. So avoid that. Just a piece of advice. So anyway guys, that is my reaction to this issue about the Mary of Filipinas with these qualities and her apology video. Uh, yun lang. That's all I can say about this, uh, you know, issue nga. So, um, let's just spread love and forgiveness. Kasi nakakahiya kasi um, we're all Filipinos and we are bashing each other. Nakakahiya lang talaga. O, hindi ba justify ng pagiging judgmental natin yung pagkakamali ng isang tao, ng isang Filipino. Just because nagkamali siya. So, kailangan pa parating sa bayan? Just something to think about. So, for all the people naman who cannot forgive her, or who can't move on, think of this. Um, what if it happened to you, to your parents, to your kids, to your brothers and sisters? Na mabuli sila online. How would you feel? What would you feel? Um, you think it's fun? So anyway guys, again, that is my reaction. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comment or suggestion, don't forget your, to put your comment in the comment section below. And uh, give me a thumbs up para makagawa pa ako ng more videos just for you guys. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the Mr. SimT logo or the subscribe button. And uh, also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload videos. Okay? And I'll see you again in the next video.